Right, okay, now today we're going to take this uh, Suzuki Jimny VVTi that we've just taken in part exchange for a spin. Now, I've never had one of these before, and um, being a Land Rover dealer, I've always kind of dismissed these as kind of toys, but um, having been driving this around, it's actually really quite good. Um, I haven't tried it off-road, obviously, but um, from what I, in terms of its road driving, I, I really quite enjoy it. Uh, one, I think it's 1.3 petrol VVTi. Um, selectable four-wheel drive and, and low ratio as well. Anyway, let's take it for a spin. Um, I've, ooh, it's a little bit cramped for me, a bit, bit like a Defender is, but then again, I am six foot six, so I uh, don't know what you can expect, really. Um, all the warning lights come up as, as they should and go out as they should. This one's got ABS, um, airbags, electric windows, electric mirrors. Um, hasn't got air conditioning. And uh, a radio CD with... Um, compact disc, disc auto changer control so I don't know if it's more than one CD that you can stick in there um, apparently the aerial is in the is in the back I haven't found it yet but uh, it does need a new aerial on it uh, the stereo does work but apparently it does need a new aerial uh, we'll see if we can find that in the back of the car the previous owner tells us it is in there somewhere um, right let's take it for a spin um, I'll see if I can turn this round a bit so you can actually see the I bet I'll get this the wrong way because the camera's up yes of course the wrong way as always uh, so you can actually see a bit of the road rather than me. And um, we'll take it for a buzz, for a, for a spin up the road. Buzz. Um, anyway, off we go. But say, I've, I've done a few miles in it now. Um, I used it last night and this morning. Didn't miss a beat, started on the button. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. I've just done about five miles from cold in it this morning and the temperature gauge is sitting just below the halfway point now. Heater works nice as well, so in some ways it's better than a, than a Defender from that respect. And this one incidentally is showing 59,500, sorry, 59,950 miles. It's actually 915, but I'm gonna use it um, tonight, which will probably take it up to 950 and that'll be it. Um, so we'll make sure we sell it with under 60,000 miles on. Five-speed gearbox, as I say, selectable, uh, four-wheel drive and low ratio gearbox as well and it's uh, yeah I, I can't really fault it in terms of the way it drives you may hear a very faint rattle on the camera that's it's not the vehicle rattling it's just I've got the rear seats down at the moment and the headrest of the rear seat is uh, touching the back of my seat so obviously it, uh, it will rattle very slightly um, but no suspension noises or transmission backlash tell you what I wish some defenders drove as well as this Really nice, sweet five-speed gearbox with no synchro problems. Brakes really nicely. So it's got ABS on it as well. So I'm actually quite taken with it. Turn the heater down a bit as well. It's a bit, uh, a bit warm now. Fourth, we are in a 30 zone here, so can't go any faster, I'm afraid. It's not the quickest thing off the block, should we say? But, um, and sort of much like a Defender, 60 70 miles an hour feels a little bit thrashy, but um, it's not really what you buy one of these for. So, just trundles down the road with no. No unpleasant noises, I really can't fault the way it drives. Now we can accelerate a bit. Because it's the VVTi, I mean, you can rev it to 6,500 RPM before you hit the red line, so uh, um, obviously we're not going to get anywhere near that today, but uh, it does seem a slightly strange engine to put into a four-wheel drive, but. Um, steers nicely it's not it's tracking nice and straight I just think it's a very very pleasant little car I think if my uh, my wife hadn't just bought a new 
new car. I think um, she'd probably like this. And this one I think is a 2005 model. Everything seems to function as it should, so it's got electric windows and mirrors on it, remote alarm locking. So I think if we can find a place to stop, we probably can here. So, um, I think there we have it, really. Just to switch it off. Uh, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for more information. End.